Hey everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. I actually just woke up. It's took a shower. Um, it's Monday. I have to go back to work. I haven't been to work since Tuesday of last week before Christmas. Um, so I have a lot going on. I have to do the laundry, but I can't really do that until Lily brings down hers. So I have to do that tomorrow morning. Um, my room is a mess. There's still trash everywhere, but we're trying to keep that like where it is until you know, the trash man come. <laughs> We're not trying to shove it outside until then. Um, so that's all over the place. My house is kind of chaotic, which is giving me anxiety. Um, I already took it down my Christmas tree. I know it's early. I took it down yesterday because there was no room for the amount of crap that Ollie got. Um, and Ollie's birthday party is in like two weeks. So I just want to start preparing my house for his birthday party i don't care if like there are some um christmas decorations like i left stuff up um i just didn't want the big tree in the way and then the toys in the way um so i can show you the setup in a minute uh but i have to get my hair done and i'm not putting on any makeup today because i have to go to work and i wear my mask like all day and every time i wear my mask with makeup on i get like really bad acne on my skin no matter how much i prep <laughs> i'm just like not even gonna deal with that today so we're gonna do a no makeup day um i was going to blow dry my hair but i feel like it kind of just needs some air drying um and get a minute from heat i have been doing my hair a lot recently so i'm just gonna let it breathe today sorry for my appearance it is what it is um I have to make my smoothie. If you have yet to see my morning routine as a working mom, um, I can link that down below so you guys can see that. Um, I also wanted to give you guys an update on my nails. Um, Madam Glam's sent me some nail polishes and I've already talked about this in a, another vlog before Christmas. Um, but guys, I absolutely love this color. Like it's beautiful. I love everything about it. It's called Down to Earth. I can leave Madame Glam down below so you can check her out as well. Um, but the nail polishes are phenomenal. I have to order more. <laughs> like I got a couple in the colors that I think that I would wear the most, but like I need more to kind of just like go in between because I got like this this green color for like Christmassy, but now I don't have anything to like go into like January, like the winter seasons. I got a lot of like fall colors and spring colors, so I kind of need to like, you know, get some winter colors as well. Um but the green, I I could wear this literally every day. I I wouldn't care, but I feel like I need to switch it up beautiful love it uh they're linked down below if you like to check them out um smoothie time i have to get this done i have to wake up ollie by six o'clock on the dot or he won't go to sleep at the time he's supposed to go to sleep so we're kind of like on a weird schedule with him he's like transitioning from napping to quiet time but he doesn't really understand the quiet time concept so we're kind of working on that and guys he peed on the potty for the first time over winter break so i'm really excited about that and when i say he peed on the potty he actually peed on his dad because he was sitting down and you know it shot forward and hit anthony um but he peed on the potty that's we're moving forward he's telling us that he has to pee but we don't make it up the stairs fast enough so i think i might invest in a different potty i don't think he likes the one that we have down here i think i might want to get one that looks actually like a toilet it just sucks because we only have one bathroom and it's upstairs like by the time he tells us he has to go he's already gone um so we definitely need to get something for down here so that he could go he's been telling us he has to poop and again like we're not fast enough to take him up the steps um and he would really like to do that himself like he likes to walk himself up the steps so like we if we try to carry him he gets like really frustrated and then he doesn't want to go to the bathroom so <clears throat> it's it's a whole process he's kind of stubborn so we're kind of just letting him do his thing and then the whole pacifier thing and update on his lip and tongue tie he is talking like full sentences doesn't stop he's all over the place he is doing well every time he says anything that's not um like he says can i help but he says it like all jumbled together when he says stuff like that, I try to stop him and say, like, can I help, like, pronounce every single word. And if he's having trouble with a certain word, I say, C -c can I help, like, I slow it down for him so he can actually get it. Um, so 
that's what I've been working on and helping him through. So that's pretty much what we've been doing for the last couple of week, weeks uh, since his surgery. Um, and he's phenomenal. We want to get rid of his pacifier completely by the time his birthday hits. So by three, I want to get it completely gone. As of right now, he's kind of just having it for beds and nap times like we used to. But he's been drooling a lot. We don't really know what that's about. Like, he literally just has, like, drool coming down his mouth. I'm not sure if he's teething. Like, can he be teething at almost three years old? I'm not sure. Um, so, like, I don't know if his, like, mouth is hurting him. And he's had, like, multiple ear infections for the last couple of weeks. So his ears might be, like, putting a lot of pressure. And he needs that to relieve it. I don't know. So we've been working on the past far. It's just a lot harder because he's attached to it. Um... And then we also found out that he's afraid of the camera. We have like the lollipop camera, but it has like for nighttime, it has like red dots around it. So you could see into the, the bedroom, like night vision. And he was really scared of it now that we moved it from above him to like the side and we've completely turned it off. Um, and we've taught him to come out of the bedroom when he's done napping. So he's not just laying in the bed. Um, and that's the only way we could tell if he's up, except, I mean, going into his bedroom. But he, he's actually come out of his bedroom and came and looked for me. So luckily he doesn't get up in the middle of the night. And if he does, he kind of just goes back to bed. Um, but we're trying to also like get upstairs ready. We don't want to trap him in his bedroom, but we also don't want to put the gate up because it has a piece at the bottom that if he tries to step over it and misses, he will tumble down the steps um so we really don't want to put that up we want to put like led strips or something that light up like motion sensor so when he goes into the hallway he knows to come into our room because our door is open and we also need to put something in the bathroom so when he goes in there and he has to go in the middle of the night it lights up um we just need to start figuring stuff out Luckily, like I said, he doesn't get up in the middle of the night, so that kind of works out. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that we are on a no spend. We really want to buy a house, and we are budgeting like crazy this year coming up. We want to pay off our debt. We want to start building credit, like better credit than what we have. And like our credit's good, but it's not like perfect. We want it to be higher. <laughs> so we want to do that. We want to just have a better all around, like, opportunity to buy a house by november december so we're going on a no spend like obviously we're going to be spending money like if the kids need clothes or like like we have it in the budget for necessities for the house and the kids and stuff like that but going on like from the states or spending a lot of money on eating out and i've already talked about this a lot but we use like a calendar and we put what we eat and then at the beginning of the month I buy all my needs and stuff like that so I've been talking about that for like the last couple of months and that has worked out amazingly so if you haven't tried that out you definitely should um but that's what we're gonna stick to like we might do like maybe one or once a month eat out and enjoy eating out but like other than that we're trying to stick to saving money anywhere we can and that is like the biggest place we struggle with because it costs us like 50 60 dollars every time we just order pizza or anything like that it's a lot of money um the cheapest food to order out is like chinese food and that's even like in the 30s so it's just a lot even fast food is a lot for us when we go to like mcdonald's or chick-fil-a it's like 40 bucks um because each person gets like a meal and they're like 10 11 dollars each so yeah um it's just expensive for us to eat out and we've just like started to transition into not doing that so we're budgeting like crazy uh so if you guys start to see that we're a little boring we're not really doing much it's because we are we're trying to save um and of course we're going to disney at the end of the year so we're just you know trying to budget really well for both like we need spending money and then we also want to you know buy a house so sorry guys <laughs> and we'll let we'll keep you up on that process along with like the baby baby situation nothing yet um i like to tell you guys before it even happens like we like to be upfront about everything that's going on i don't want to be like keeping secrets and then like three months later you find on the on instagram that we are three months in um I'm just like really upfront and talk to you guys about everything. I also wanted to say that somebody asked for a week of foods for Ollie, and I'm not sure if you want like a week of like 
meals at dinner time because I just feed him what we eat. And if he doesn't eat what we eat, he eats like pasta or chicken nuggets. Um, but for like a day of food, um, at lunch, he normally eats lunch at daycare. So like, I don't pack lunch. Um, and most days during the day, like mornings, he also eats breakfast at daycare. Like I try to feed him something before he goes. He's just like not always ready by the time he goes. And he normally eats breakfast there as well. So like I only have one meal that I really feed him during the week. And that's normally what we eat. So if you would like to see like maybe a day in the life of a toddler and I show you what he eats on the weekend, I could totally do that. Um, but I can't do like a full week of meals for Ollie because he just isn't always here and he doesn't eat everything that we make. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. So if you like to see any type of videos, just leave them in the comments. I always check my comments. I've just taken a little mini break for the week, so I'm definitely gonna get back to the comments. I have to do that when I get to work. Um, but yeah, let me know if you wanna see any type of videos coming up. I'm trying to work on like maybe putting more videos out here and there if I have extra time. I just feel like I don't like putting my routine videos and in between my vlogs so they might be like extra videos if you want to see those i could definitely fill them just let me know in the comments uh but yeah i need to get to my smoothie <laughs> it's now 4 30 i just picked up ollie from daycare he's in the back watching booba on netflix he really likes that show um i didn't really vlog much because i did absolutely nothing today i did one transfer and that is pretty much it and then i sat there for the rest of the day it hasn't been really busy because a lot of people were out on covid um parental leaves and just leaves in general or vacation due to like um the holidays i broke two of my nails <laughs> so i have to fix that when i get home um but we're gonna head home we're having shepherd's fire for dinner anthony just got in as well so it's a pretty late day for us um i have to do some editing and get my stuff together uh but yeah this is not how i wanted the vlog to go Ooh, it's beautiful way to go anthony thank you <laughs> i missed the beautiful laugh Lose her. What happened? Did you get headbutted? No, I hit my head. How? Me and Holly were looking at each other and I hit my head. And you just started laughing at me. You wanna laugh at Lily, buddy? Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> uh, as you've seen, Anthony made the shepherd's pie. It was fantastic. Um. Ollie's actually upstairs with Lily watching Booba on her TV. <laughs> they just ran upstairs and Ollie didn't really eat dinner, so we're gonna try and feed him like an, an hour or so before he has to go upstairs. Uh, Anthony and I are just gonna watch some TV. Then I have to do some TikTok stuff, like cleaning up and put that video up. Um, but that's pretty much what's gonna happen for the rest of the night. We're not really doing anything. Uh, I did some emailing at work uh, for YouTube. Other than that, that's it. I It's a pretty boring day in the life today. Uh, but, yeah. Anthony, got anything to add to the story? No. No? No, I don't. All I got for is hammer. 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 Oh, I wanted to show them the layout. It's a mess right now because we... We just got home and Ollie ran straight for the toys, so let me show you guys that. Uh, but real quick, I bought these reusable uh, Ziploc bags. They're six in a pack. Six. There's six in a pack, um, and I was gonna put the um, puzzle pieces in these. 
so they're more organized than that bin instead of them all being together they'll be in this so and i'm thinking of labeling them so i know what what is what so i'm gonna uh, show you guys real quick what we have going on so over here we have ollie's art car up top we have like the play-doh accessories um and then down here we got a roll of paper and all of his art supplies crowns pencils markers down here we got construction paper and googly eyes and stuff like that and then we have this um we actually went out the day after christmas and bought this uh yoda isn't supposed to be up there but <laughs> Uh, we just have stuff that we don't really want him to touch right now up there. We have some books and games, more games and puzzles. We lined up a lot of puzzles on like this little rack right here. And here's all like the puzzle pieces. And like I said, we're going to try and organize them so they're not all in one big container. We got like baby doll stuff and stuffed animals and then his balls right there. And then over here... Um, as you can see, one of the Hulk hands are here, but we have like the Thor's hammer and the Infinity Gauntlet, like all right here, um, along with his cars all lined up and ready for him to just grab, along with his playhouses up top. And then over here, we have like some of the bigger, bulky items that we can't really fit anywhere just on top of here and i found these baskets for five dollars each in the dollar section and they're stackable so we got all the play-doh in here because it was just way too much to fit on that cart and then we got all of his figurines up here and we actually ordered more for christmas so i'm not sure if they're going to fit in there anymore or for his birthday so i'm not sure if they're going to fit there anymore we have his all his figurines in here like all of his little people and stuff like that in here we still have his Legos in this side and his extra cars over here. And yes, Darth Vader is still wearing a diaper. <laughs> and then this is like the messy side, but this is normally pushed in the corner. Um, and then in here are all of his dinosaurs. And then of course we have like the really big ones up top just because they don't fit anywhere else. Um, but we had to take down the tree so we could fit this gigantic thing over here. The house is still a mess. There's still cardboard everywhere. Anthony's loving this Thor hammer. So yeah, that's pretty much how we set everything up. And of course, he's getting more for his birthday because we ordered it. Not thinking that we weren't going to have any space. Um, we definitely need a bigger house because we're running out of room for the growing child. And then we also want to add another child to the mix. There's just not enough room for that. Like... Could you imagine baby things in this area? There's just no room. Uh, so <laughs> we're just trying to figure all that out. Right, Anthony? Right. So yeah, we're just gonna watch some TV while Ollie's upstairs distracted with his sister. And then I'm probably gonna end the video a little later um, after Ollie's bedtime. All right, it's almost seven o'clock. Anthony took Ollie up to go to bed. Lily's grabbing a quick snack. And then she's heading upstairs to just relax and watch a movie, do whatever she's doing. Right, Lily? Yeah. Yeah, she took, a, she took a shower and now she's ready to just go upstairs and relax for the night. I'm actually going to be cleaning up, but I'm filming a TikTok, so I can't really show that in the vlog. So if you would like to follow me on TikTok, it's always a link down below. Um, I do cleaning videos and shop with me's and restocking and stuff like that, but it's like ASMR version. So if you would like to see that, just follow me over there. I'm actually going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.